Hello everybody and welcome to the next video podcast for GCSE PE EdXL and today we're looking at component one and this is part two of the musculoskeletal system. We're going to be looking specifically at the muscular system today and we're going to be looking at the different types of muscle that you need to know about, how muscles work together to produce movement and the different types of muscle fibre that are useful for sports as well. As with anything, make sure that you've got your notes by your side. As you're going through the PowerPoint presentation, please make sure that you make any key notes with you and feel free to pause and rewind the video podcast to help you. Okay, so really simple to be honest with you. The muscular system has got one main function and it's to produce movement. It's attached by tendons to the skeletal system and the muscular muscles contract, which helps our muscles to move. So make sure you know that that's the main function. There's a lot more than you need to know for the skeletal system. And for your exam, you're going to need to know the location of the major muscles in the muscular system. And here are the major muscles. So make sure you pause the video podcast and just read over these and get to know them. I will not go through them in this video podcast, but it's important that you know the names of the major muscles, both for the front and the back of the muscular system. What you do need to know for these different muscles are examples of their use in sport and how they help to produce movement. So for example, if we look at the tricep muscle, which is at the back of the arm, the main function of the tricep muscle is to extend the arm at the elbow. And this can be useful, for example, in boxing to produce a jab. Make sure you know examples for these different muscles and also know the types of movement they produce. Now, within the muscular system, there are different types of muscles. We've just looked at the first type of muscle, and that's called the voluntary muscles. Okay? The voluntary muscles are controlled by our nervous system, and we have control over them. So the biceps, the triceps, the quadriceps, the hamstring, the abdominals, we all control their movement, and they, we call them voluntary muscles, and they're really useful in sport. We also have what we call involuntary muscles. And they're muscles that are controlled by our central nervous system, but we don't have conscious control over them. The body contracts those muscles as and when they're needed. So, for example, you've got lots of muscles in your um, intestines to help you digest food. And you don't actually control them with your mind, but it just works and moves around as and when it's needed. So they're involuntary muscles. So muscles like the intercostal muscles and the rib cage, they're an example of involuntary. And then the final type of muscle that you need to know about are cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles are found, found in the heart and they obviously contract involuntary but continuously contract. Um, your, what your brain does, it sends nerve impulses and electrical impulses over the heart which helps the cardiac muscle to contract. They're really important muscles because if they stop working then our heart stops working. So make sure you get to know the three types of muscle and you know how they work and examples of each. Now your muscles are arranged generally in pairs around your body. One of the most um, common types of pairs or mo most well known are your bicep and your tricep and another um, muscular pair are your quadriceps and your hamstrings. Now whenever your muscles are contracting they work in pairs to produce movement. We call one of them the antagonist and one of them the agonist and the agonist is the muscle that begins the movement. That's the muscle that contracts. So for example here, if I'm lifting my arm up, my bicep is the agonist, and that's the muscle that's contracting. And we know it's contracting because the muscle has become shorter in length and much bigger as well. The muscle that is relaxing is the antagonist, and in this example, it's the tricep, which is now relaxing, and it's become a lot longer. So make sure you know that when muscles work together, one contracts, one relaxes, one's the agonist and one's the antagonist. It's the same for kicking a ball with your legs. If you're kicking a ball, your quadricep would be the agonist, your hamstring the antagonist, one's contracting and one's relaxing. So make sure you know about those different examples for your exam. And then finally, what we're gonna look at are different muscle fiber types. Um, when you're born, you have a predominantly either have mostly type 1 muscle fibres or mostly type 2 muscle fibres. And this will sort of affect the way that you play sport and your fitness. The first muscle fibre type is type 1, and we call those slow twitch fibres. Okay? 
and they're called slow twitch fibers because they release oxygen really slowly. The myoglobin in the muscles, which is the thing that carries the, the oxygen, releases it really slowly. And these muscle fiber types are suited to long distance running, where you're exercising aerobically. The second type is type two, and we call these fast twitch muscle fibers. And these muscle fibers release oxygen a lot quicker than slow twitch fibers. But there are two different types. We've got type 2A, which exercise anaerobically, and they're more useful for middle distance running. So when you see uh, sort of like a 1500 meter runner, they will have a, a little bit of slow twitch, which is a white, but some fast twitch. And they again release oxygen quicker than slow twitch. Then we've got type 2X, and these muscle fibers release oxygen really quickly anaerobically. And these are useful for sports like sprinting or times in games when you're going to be sprinting. Um, you can train these different types of muscle fibers for your different methods of training. So continuous training would strengthen these um, and more power type training would improve these such as interval training or fault life training. So make sure you know the two main types and make sure you know that the difference between type 2A and type 2X and examples of sports. So that is, concludes our video podcast for component two of the muscular system, which is part of the musculoskeletal system. Remember that there are three main types of muscles, voluntary, involuntary, and also uh, the muscles that we don't control in the heart, which is cardiac muscle. Make sure you know how muscles work in pairs, agonists and antagonists, and make sure you know the different muscle fiber types, type two and type one. Thank you for watching the video podcast. Make sure you pause, rewind the video to go over some of your notes and bring your notes to your lesson. Thank you.